this one is just it's all based on skin issues. Left hand side, tear it off if I need to and utilize it if need be. Everybody. Due to the popularity of my get home bag breakdown, I wanted to give you guys an extra special one. So this is a family medical kit that I put together a couple years ago and I've been adding a little here and a little there since. And basically, this is our emergency kit that we bring with us on road trips or when we're out camping or hunting or anywhere where you would want to be able to have some medical assistance um, before like a paramedic or anybody can get out there, you know. When you suffer a major laceration and you've got blood gushing, seconds really matter. And having the proper tools and training to go along with it is essential. So what you see right here in front of you is a Voodoo Tactical bag. Um, this is a very basic um, bag that a lot of bag manufacturers have their own versions of this exact setup. So I went with the Voodoo Tactical because they are a good brand. But I also went with the red colors to be able to signify that this is a medical kit. And if you tell somebody in an emergency that you need to go get the kit out of my pack or out of my truck, then you can tell them it's the red backpack with the medical symbol on the front or just the red backpack. It makes it easier. So this pack has four compartments. There's the two main, a secondary, and what I consider a little accessory, something for you to just house items, small items into. But going from the front of the pack, as you can see, I do have some things hanging off from the sides of it. So right up at the top right here, I've got two CPR masks, a pair of hemostats, trauma shears. This is antiseptic spray uh, for like your hands, a black Sharpie marker, and I've got two easy access tourniquets, one on each side of the pack. Um, those are a cat style, not the cat brand, but those are the same concept as a cat's tourniquet. Going into the actual pack itself, um, I've got it isolated into three separate sections. So in the main one is advanced bleed control. In the secondary one is general health. Then we've got a boo-boo kit and some extras that you may not think about having in your family emergency kit, but once you see what it is, you're gonna be shocked and you're gonna ask yourself, why don't I have some of that? So going off into the main access, let's go ahead and get into the boo-boo kit section. So everything in here is housed in little Ziploc bags. So that way it's an extra layer of, of cleanliness and uh, protection for these items. So right here, I have just a standard boo-boo kit. Now this is just gonna house your band-aids, your Neosporin, some mole skin, some new liquid skin, um, band-aids, and large pad band-aids. And this is just for cuts and scrapes and nicks and bumps and stuff like that. Um, that way it's an easy access. You have all the items right there that you would want. And then in this one, I've got a nice big pile of alcohol swab pads. I've got two of these dental medic kits. Now these things are kind of unique. So what it is, is it has two oral pain relief, a tea bag, dental wax, temporary cavity filling, cotton pellets, cotton rolls, dental floss, and toothpicks. Basically, if you're out in the boons and you break a tooth, and you don't want it to be left open in while you're still out and about. You have some stuff right here to help with the pain. And you also have a dental wax to be able to fill in that hole. And then up over here, I do have a little burn kit. Um, burns suck. And when you don't have something that can soothe and relieve the pain of getting a burn, um, that could be really aggravating to have. And when you're in that kind of pain, um, the more pain you're in, the more irritable you're going to be, and you may be making poor decisions because you can't manage it. So a burn kit is a really good thing to have. Going over into the general, the, the general medical kit right here. In here, I have a quite variety of, um, health related solutions so you've got your advils you've got your tylenols you've got your anti-diarrheal 
you've got a, quite a bit. So every everything that I have in here is individually labeled with the medication, the date of expiration, the dosage per pill. So that way you know what it is you're taking, how many you should be taking, and you you can go, you can you can keep track of all of that. Um, so right there, I just got some Tylenol. Um, this is muscle pain relief. So if you're out hiking all day long and you get back to camp and you just want to be able to rest your restless legs, or if you're an older guy like me, back pain or anything like that, you know you can have the necessary things to ease that discomfort. An emergency blanket, primarily for shock treatment. Um, hand warmers. This in here is a stomach um, system. So you got some Pepto-Bismol, you've got some Imodium AD, um, anti-diarrheals, the whole nine yards. This is all based on stomach medication. In here is for skincare. So you've got more burn relief gel, poison oak and ivy treatment, lip balm, hydrocortisone, uh, <laughs> hydrocortisone cream, and um, insect bite, instant <laughs> insect bite relief right here. And this one just it's all based on skin related issues. So in this one is going to be all your cold and your flu symptoms, your allergy symptoms. So there's some cough drops, there's some um, Benadryl, there is Sudafed, um, all the kind of things you would need for your cold and flu or your sinus symptoms or your seasonal allergy symptoms. A couple instant cold packs. Um, this is a small portion of a vitamin supplement. One of my family members has a little bit of an issue with low iron. So we like to keep a few of these in here as well. And for you ladies in there, this is a huge thing. Guys, don't ever forget something like this for your, for your women folk. Feminine hygiene products. Um, it's, it's amazing how much guys will overlook the concept of feminine hygiene or feminine products. It may make you uncomfortable, but suck it up. You're a man, you're a father, you need to make sure you have stuff like this. It is the worst thing in the world for a lady to have to go through this kind of a situation and not have everything she need or um, misplace something. You can be the hero of her day by saving her honor and her grace and making sure that she's well taken care of. Okay, and in the main compartment, this is gonna be our advanced bleed control system. So this is primarily to be able to prevent excessive blood loss and prevent loss of life because excessive blood loss is extremely um, dangerous. So the reason why I chose the main compartment is that right there, the entire pack will completely flow right open. So you're not just digging down in there trying to locate items um, in the dark or anything. You can just peel it right open, lay it on the ground, and you're good to go. So up here in the top, I have quite a few selections of um, Quick Clot and another um, non-Quick Clot brand. I've also got some factory sealed wound stuffing uh, material. So if you have a major laceration and you're trying to get the blood to coagulate in there, you can stuff this inside the wound and wrap it and apply pressure on it. And it's going to help co uh, coagulate that blood and stop the flow of blood. Um, individually sealed gauze pads. These are four by fours, 12 ply um, gauzes, extra tourniquets, a couple six inch Israeli style bandages, Plenty of the wraparound self-cleaning material, ace bandage, rolled gauzes, more for wound stuffing. First aid, antiseptic. This is more for the boo-boo um, kit than it is for an advanced trauma or anything, but I wanted to keep this side-by-side -side with the wound wash system, which is this one right here. Uh, basically, it's just sterile saline solution, and you can use it to flush out dirty wounds and try and prevent infection when you wrap it up. And just remember, this kit right here is a supplemental kit. This is the bulk supply kit that we use for in the family. The trauma kit that you saw in my get home bag is 
almost the exact same trauma kit I have in each one of my um, family members packs. So every one of us have like the chest vent seals and stereo strips and um, aluminum splints and uh, all kinds of things in those. So if something's not directly in here, um, Maybe I should do a full kit breakdown of that individual trauma kit so you guys can see it. But there is quite a bit more than that's just in this pack right here. Um, and for the last thing that I wanted to show you guys that you probably did not put in your own emergency medical kit. These are doses of Narcan is a nasal inhalant that you can use to help somebody who is ODing on narcotics. Um, these things save lives. They are extremely helpful with preserving lives. Now, I know what you're thinking. You're, you're probably gonna sit here and say, well, dude, I, I don't do narcotics. Why would I wanna have something like that? I want you to go on YouTube and look up Narcan Deputy, okay? And you will see that a sheriff's deputy was doing a routine traffic stop on a car and his partner forgot to put his gloves on, barely touched anything inside of that car and instantly dropped to the ground, convulsing in OD. Fentanyl is really a dangerous and terrifying substance and having something like this around with you, either in your pickup, in your emergency kit, or somewhere where you have access could be the difference between life and death, not just for yourself, but for a family member or a coworker or somebody just walking down the street. Remember, we're all human beings, okay? And being able to have empathy for everybody is crucial. You got to be able to think about everybody in this situation. And I keep Narcan with me for that exact reason. Well, guys, here you go. This is our family emergency kit. Um, tell me what you guys think about this. Would you add something to it? Would you take something out of this? Did this inspire you into putting something together for you and your family? Having a main source emergency medical kit that everybody in the family knows where it's at and what is inside of it could be the difference between life and death from someone you love. I love you guys. God bless you. You have a good day.